Samuel Tarly has not only killed the White Walker, but he also saved Gilly and Baby Sam during that process. He discovered Dragonglass at the Fist of the First Men, he stole Heartsbane, and that's going to prove to be a very valuable element to have on the hero side going into Season 8. Sam has done a lot of stuff. If it wasn't for Bran, he would be the one that's going to tell John that he's been banging his aunt. In this video, I want to discuss several different ways that have been foreshadowing to how Sam's journey will end. Let's begin. Before we get started, I need to give a formal spoiler warning because I will be very briefly mentioning where certain actors have been spotted and where that speculation leads. So if you don't want to know anything about Game of Thrones Season 8 and the filming aspect, go ahead and click out of the video right now, you punk. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Now speaking on Sam killing the White Walker, that's a very crucial moment in the show. Sam is in the process of saving baby Sam and Gilly, and in doing so we, well, I can't speak for you guys, but when I was watching this scene on the television, I was like, okay, my homeboy, he's about to die. You know what I mean? He's about to, there's no way that he's going to survive past these moments. From what we've seen of the White Walkers at that point, they're all powerful, and these are the ultimate evil on the television show, aside from the human evil that we see in every single episode. But Sam the Slayer prevails, and he's able to get the upper hand in the situation and stabs this dude in the back with a dragon glass. That of which he actually found at the Fist of the First Men. If you remember the White Walker that he stabs in the back right here, at least I'm led to believe that this is the same White Walker who let him live. Now, th there is a lot of debate in the A Song of Ice and Fire community as to why that White Walker decided to let Sam live, especially when there's Dragonglass right there and there. That whole situation, it was just way too easy to just kill Sam right then and there and then get it over with. Well, my first response is, well, they let... Will, the deserter from the Night's Watch, go and deliver the message to the humans that they were coming, so this is why they did this to Sam. I think when he shows back up, why he goes to kill Sam is he's like, well, I let you go once so that you could deliver this message. The chances of me seeing you again, I'm going to kill you this time. But also, he stole baby Sam, and that is a key part. I've talked about it, and I don't want to mention it again in this video because I feel like I'd be repeating myself, so you can click right up here, and then I'll take you to my video. But in short, I believe that the Night King, one of his main cornerstones, if you will, is procreation and life itself. So one of his main factors in what he's doing and what he's doing is the stealing of baby Sam. Well, with that being said, some of the other things that Sam did involving Dragonglass is in Season 7, he mentioned to everybody that there were caves with dragon glass inside of it at dragonstone so one of the best things to do is go down there and collect that so that we can use it in this fight for the long night well guess what Jon snow did that and then you have the consummation of ice and fire daenerys and john not only did sam bring ice and fire together but he cured grayscale he is racking up more accolades and more good deeds than anyone else on the television series at this point, I would not be surprised if Sam is the one to discover that last missing key element to making Valyrian steel, as well as telling Daenerys that she's pregnant after both sex, and then also, he's going to most likely be the one to tell Jon that he's in fact related to Daenerys. The reason why I think this is because Jon does have a relationship with Bran, but he spent the most time recently with Samwell Tarly at the Wall. They've bonded and they've become arguably closer than Bran and Jon ever were and ever will be because Bran is almost an emotion emotionless wreck. He he delivers news in a very this is what happened sort of way and I think if the two of them discuss it just like they did in the last episode of season 7, if the two of them talk about it properly, I think it will be determined that Sam will be the best one to tell Jon that bad news. Now that's some of the things that I think Sam will go on to do in this final season. I'm going to talk about his very final scene towards the end of this video, but for right now, I want to get into some other speculation. Now, this is the part that has the spoilers, so go ahead and click out of the video right now if you don't want to know anything. But I'm going to talk about it very vaguely and as less detailed field as possible, so that way you can remain spoiler free if you truly want to. But anyway, Sam has not been spotted filming that much. Now, he has been filmed, just not outside. We're this late into season eight in production and filming and all that. There's no way that John Bradley has not filmed most, if not all of his scenes for season eight. The thing is, is John, Sam, is not a warrior. So a lot of his scenes for season eight are going to be filmed indoors. This is most likely why we have not seen him outside filming in massive 
sprawling battle scenes because that's not what Sam's character is and that's what I want to focus on is Sam is not a warrior. One could say his place is not on the battlefield. He belongs off somewhere safeguarding the information and furthering the future, not trading blows with the Night King fist to fist. Sam is most likely one of the characters in George's work that resembles him the most. So with him being an author and him being an obvious combination of Sam and Frodo from The Lord of the Rings, I think Sam is going to have that same role that Frodo did at the end of The Lord of the Rings, which was recording everything and writing it down so that there is a record of events to be told to the future generations so that this story, this song of ice and fire is not lost. Sam is the author and his is the story of ice and fire another thing that supports this theory is during season seven there was a scene with archmaester ebros and sam where they're walking through the libraries now just for a little bit of back history in the novels the archmaesters and the maesters are tasked with like keeping up with the histories of the world like whatever the current events are going and maester ebros tells sam that he's not writing a chronicle of the wars following king robert the first's death He's not writing that book so it can sit around on a shelf and be, you know, unread. When he does this, Sam makes this face that sort of is like an unimpressed face. And he's almost like, are you sure that's what you want to call it? And Sam mentions, actually, that it should be something a bit more poetic. So this, along with the fact that George has mentioned that he's the most like Samuel Tarly in all of the characters in the books, this along with everything I mentioned in this video, including the most fact that Sam is not a warrior, so his place is not going to be on the battlefield, so he, John is most likely going to send him someplace safe. I think that Sam will be alive at the end of our story to tell this story and record it down, maybe even adding on to Archmaester Ebro's epic of a history of events following Robert's Rebellion. Maybe he will even add on to that and change the title to something more poetic, A Song of Ice and Fire. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there really hasn't been that much in regards to filming news with Sam, but one thing stuck out was when John Bradley was filmed, or rather, pictures were taken of him when he was at an airport in which he had a lot of cast members with him, but no one was able to really quite figure out where they were. A lot of people thought that they were going to meet up with Kit Harington in Iceland. Now, obviously, the people over at HBO have done their job 157% this season in keeping the spoilers locked tight down. Usually by now, there will be some sort of major event that has been 100% confirmed without a doubt. Now, there has been several things that have been somewhat confirmed, but it's all just been mostly speculation and small blurry images that we don't really know 100% for sure about anything. So the reason why this meeting sticks out in particular with me is because it happened several months ago and no one's really talked about it and we haven't really seen anything or any more movement in that front. One thing's for sure though, the last time we saw a lot of those cast members, they were filming stuff in Beyond the Wall, which was episode 6 of last season, and this was where there were a lot of heavy White Walker usage, but also, the main thing to take away there is that there were green screens. So if there was something filmed with John Bradley, Sam, and Brienne, and Tormund, and all of these awesome badass characters like Sandor, if there was a scene filmed with them, and it was involving White Walkers, and it was somewhere in Iceland, which has stood in for North of the Wall before, it will likely be filmed indoors, and we have no idea it's going to happen until it comes up on the screen. So if this scene happened, what would be going on in this situation? And why would Sam, of all people, go with him that far north of the wall? Well, I mentioned in my video last week about the Night King, about how he seeks others, not only for procreation, but also he seeks other individuals that are like him. The Night King, his main source of power, is frozen fire stabbed into his heart. And with him being reincarnated using ice magic, he is fire and ice. So with Game of Thrones, as you can see, everything is very cyclical in nature. It would make sense that Sam killed the first White Walker on the show, so who's to say he won't kill the last? Now, I know we're jumping into a leap here, but if Samwell went somewhere north of the wall, it would only be to his research. He discovers every sort of key element that has to happen, or not every element, but most of the secrets are unlocked by Samwell Tarly. So Sam, well, may discover a secret way to kill the Night King, and this involves going back to his source or his creation. This is north of the wall, and this is where the children of the forest created the Night King. So if everything's cyclical by nature, they have to go back to the beginning to end it. 
Now, I'm going to be wrapping this video up right there. If you guys want me to do further speculation on what this ritual that Sam may have to do that he may secretly discover, let me know down below. I had to leave you wanting more. So let me know down in the comment section if you want me to cover another video on Samuel Tarly in Season 8. But also, happy 4th of July to everyone who is over here in America celebrating Independence Day. I know I'm going to be embracing my power maniac side and lighting off a bunch of fireworks. But I hope you guys have an awesome holiday and i want to thank you all so so much for watching if you could please slap a like on this the like goal will be 147 i want to give a super special shout out to every single member of my patreon family over on patreon.com slash your hunts reviews as well as to every single person who watches my videos my name's mark and this has been sir hunts reviews